A big thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring this week's video. Fantastic to see you all again. It's the Golden Gate Bridge. I'm back in San Francisco and I've been here on vacation and it's been fantastic. I went to New York, then Washington DC, and now I'm back where I used to live in San Francisco and we're staying with friends. And I've not done a huge amount of photography over the last two weeks, but I decided to come out because I really wanted to come back to the places I used to photograph and where I did my first vlogs as well and, and just see if I can get some good shots. So I'm going to come out this evening and, this, and shoot the marine headlands here. Uh, sunsets in that direction, you can see the sun shining on me and it'll probably be a little bit of a glow and maybe get some night shots afterwards on the, on the city. And then tomorrow morning I'm going to get up and see if we get some fog coming in as well. So yeah, it's going to be fantastic. I don't know if I'm going to get anything. I've got to admit it was pretty hard to get out as well and actually shoot tonight. The beer was calling. There's, where we're staying with our friends, they've just filled the fridge with beer. So that was definitely a calling. But I thought, yep, should get out. And I'm really glad I did now. So I'm going to explore this area and see what I can find. Um, it's really green because we're, we're in the springtime. So it's lots of rain and, and I've got here just before it goes brown. So I should get something a little bit different. In war, there's never an option to run. It's really funny actually because today's video I thought I'd come up here and find some compositions and tell you about them and probably give you maybe a top tips on composition and maybe call the video something like composition of the Golden Gate Bridge or something like that. But now I'm here and I'm just sort of looking at it and I think yeah I used to work in San Francisco and I think actually you know it, it's probably better to talk a little bit about passion in photography and and following your passion because you know, I used to work there I used to work there and run a software business and I suppose there's nowhere in the world that sums up the software industry as much as San Francisco does and you know, I suppose if you'd have asked me 20 years ago or 15 years ago when I when I started my company you know I I'd have thought that was a dream to come here but I was never I was never really happy and you know, it was always a really big step to go from all those years I'd spent learning about running, building a software company, marketing and running a business to sort of throw all that away and set up, effectively running a YouTube channel and selling my prints and doing photography. And you know, I really worried about it a lot. I thought nobody's going to buy my prints, nobody's going to watch my videos. But now I've done it, it's the best thing I've ever done. And I don't think you can quite understand it until you've actually done it. But you know, if you are thinking about it, then just take a few little baby steps maybe because I, I can guarantee you it is so amazing. And yeah, it's difficult with from a monetary point of view. I, I understand that. Um, but ultimately, we only get one chance on this planet and you've got to be happy. So just doing the thing you love is just the best thing in the world. And it's funny now looking back here because I just, you know, I've come to San Francisco and I don't actually want to go and see the city. I just want to go and explore the nature around it. And, you know, it's just beautiful. There's so many beautiful places here. I probably took it for granted a little bit when I lived here, really. Wow. It's funny how when you start doing what, what your passion is though, how you change and you realise that you, 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 you're quite special. And I was speaking to quite a few people at a workshop I was running in St. Louis in America recently. Um, and I was talking at this conference as well. And I, I think I, I learned quite early on, um, well, probably not that early on actually, but probably, probably about six months into becoming a professional photographer that you know I, I I've got to just be myself because actually I, I think everybody is a little bit special they've got something different and if you try and become a chameleon and and, and take on somebody else's way of doing things then that's probably not the best way to do it I you know I I suppose 
you know, when I first started YouTube, there was, Thomas Heaton was a really good YouTuber and, you know, I was really, you know, looked up to him and thought, you know, he, he's doing some amazing things and liked the way that he did his vlogs and went out and, I, you know, I wanted to do the same sort of things really. And, you know, he gave me some really good advice at the beginning and was lucky enough to share my videos at the beginning. But, but then I soon realized that, you know, I had to do the things that I love, the things that I was passionate about, and those are the things that made the biggest difference, and those are the things that were actually most successful. You know, I wanted to sell my prints slightly differently. You know, I wanted to do my YouTube videos that were more inspirational tutorials, which nobody else was really doing, where I tried to give t t more tips in my videos, rather than it be just a true vlogging style, a bit like I'm, I'm doing now. And then I, th I think, you know, that, that passion just really, really came out and it, it, it became easier, really. Um, not that it was ever very difficult. I mean, you know, stood talking to a camera in places like this is, you can't call it difficult, can you? Um, but yeah, it was, I think, I think what I, what I want to say is that everybody's special. You, you know, you know, you're special. So just make the most of that. Don't let anybody else tell you what you should be, should and shouldn't be doing. Do your own thing because ultimately then you'll love it more and then you'll be more successful. We should start to do some photography, shouldn't we? Probably wittering on a little bit too much. Okay, so I'm struggling, if I'm honest. That's why I'm talking to the camera about other things. I, I'm really trying to look for a composition around here and I'm really struggling. The problem is that it sort of drops off into the ocean and I can't really find a good composition. So I need the sun to go down a little bit and see what I can get. Okay. So, just shelter from the wind a little bit. So hopefully you can just see these grasses behind me. I was about to walk back to the car and see if I could just drive a little bit further down the headland and see something, but I think, I think I've got a shot here. And quite interestingly, it's nothing to do with the Golden Gate Bridge or San Francisco. I'm gonna shoot down into the sunset. But these grasses just catch the light really nicely and create a really nice foreground that leads the eye through into the headlands. And that foreground, that bottom, third of the image is often so so important in getting a really good shot so I'm really pleased about this we're gonna set my camera up and I'll show you a little bit more hopefully you can hear me because my mic is getting a lot of wind see now the sun's just at its best so I've just taken some shots it's really fantastic. It really doesn't get any better than this. Just look at it. And the amazing thing is that the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco is over there and I'm shooting in this direction because I'd rather just shoot the wilderness than the city. Sounds bad. I've taken a shot of that. It's average, nothing special. But this is what really is where my passion is. It really is absolutely amazing. days before I go home now and an amazing sunrise over San Francisco and when we arrived here there was lots and lots of fog hopefully I'll, I'll show you a photo in, in, in a minute of, of San Francisco at night and the fog just rolling in in fact we had to go a little bit higher because we were getting engulfed by fog but the fog seems to be receding now and we're just waiting for the sun to rise it's gonna be any minute now we, we, we've got some really nice foreground that's going to catch the light a fantastic view down here on slackers hill in San, looking over san francisco and the golden gate bridge and apart from the noise of the cars going over the bridge which hopefully you can't pick up but is really annoying um, it's a beautiful beautiful scene so it's just a question of getting up here and waiting now and we've got a composition we just need to wait for the light to come okay so the sun has finally risen and it looks absolutely amazing. If you just look at the grasses here, they look so, so good. And we, we're just trying to focus on this path here. If I just show you the path down here, and it just leads all the way down to the Golden Gate Bridge. 
So the whole idea with the composition is to try and get the path and then the, the grasses and the way the grasses are lit just, just over to the right hand side here leads you all the way down to the Golden Gate Bridge and then to the sort of skyline in the background and at the moment it's just in, in silhouette from the backlit sun. So what an amazing sunrise and sunset I had. I was so lucky. Timed it perfectly with the fog as well. You can see the fog in the background here, just over the Golden Gate Bridge and rolling over the hills just above Sausalito. It really is a fabulous sight. Uh, I wanted just to say a little bit about you following your passion because I really wish I'd done this earlier. I really wish that I'd just gone out and just actually just followed my photography passion and left software behind earlier than I did. But I'm glad I did it now. But if you are thinking about it, then you know, just, just think about making that change because I, I honestly don't think you'll regret it. It's really difficult to express just how fantastic it is doing something you love. Um, and I'm lucky to be able to do that, I realise that. Um, but, but if you can follow that passion, it makes a really big difference. Uh, I also wanted to thank Squarespace for sponsoring this episode. You know, they really do help me to make this transition to becoming a professional photographer. And if you haven't got a website, then, then do go and check out squarespace.com. It's a fab fabulous company I used to be in the same industry and you know I, I wouldn't hesitate in recommend this content management solution for your website and if you want to check it out go to squarespace.com and you can also check out this link here to get 10% off or use the offer code Nigel anyway it's wine time thanks ever so much for watching until next Sunday bye mm -hmm.